Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpy. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to import an Adobe Illustrator AI file into Expression Blend. It's pretty common to have designers supply you with assets such as logos that they created in Adobe Illustrator. For you to use these assets in your WPF, Silverlight, Windows Phone or Windows Store apps, then you need to import them into your project. Now I have a WPF project open here, but the process will be the same no matter what kind of project you're working with, just as long as a UI is represented in XAML. The import couldn't be easier. You just click on the file menu and select Import Adobe Illustrator File. In the dialog, locate and select an AI file. When you click the Open button, Expression Blend will import the contents of the AI file and convert them into XAML. If I expand the nodes in the Objects and Timeline window, you can see all of the elements. The top two elements are canvases that contain the remaining elements. The remaining elements are paths, and if I click each one in turn, you'll see that each of the bike images is selected at some point. Let me click on the XAML button to reveal the markup. All of this XAML was generated when I imported the AI file. One of the key factors with the UI represented with XAML is that of 2D vector graphics. These elements will scale very well, which is important when you're creating UI for a wide number of devices and screen sizes. Now, although the entire contents of the AI file have been imported, perhaps I only require the three bike silhouettes. So I'll select those three elements in the Objects and Timeline window and cut them to the clipboard. As for the rest of it, I'll simply delete it. I can now paste back the three elements into my layout root grid control. How simple is that? Now then, I want to show you something that we can do with an asset produced in XAML, and I only need one bike to do it. I'll delete these two bikes here. Now look at this remaining bike in the XAML view. It's a XAML path element. Consequently, the shape produced is produced in 2D vector graphics and so scales well. Let me contrast that with an identical image file. I'll add an existing JPEG image to the project and then drag it onto the design surface. Now look, the images look the same, but in fact, the one I have just added is an image file output using an image control, whilst the original bike is actually a path element. Now I've already mentioned that our path will scale well, but as it is a framework element, we can actually apply color to it. It has a fill property and I can set that property to any colour I like, perhaps even at runtime. We could use a variety of brushes such as a radial gradient brush and set various gradient stops to assorted colours. We could even apply video brushes, something you couldn't do with a JPEG file displayed in an image control. So here's a workflow. Your designer creates the graphical assets in Adobe Illustrator and hands you the AI file. You take this file and import it into your project. Once you've pruned away any unwanted elements, you're free to use the remaining assets any way you wish. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to import an Adobe Illustrator AI file into Expression Blend. I'll produce some more videos dealing with XAML resources just as soon as I've uploaded this one. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment and suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe and keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.